Hey guys, welcome back to Nibai and our week of motivation. So I have this problem. I have a hard time making a plan. Well, I, I make a plan, but then I change my mind. <laughs> and that's happened a lot in this last week. And I changed the whole topic of this last week, last minute. And then both days now, I have sort of felt inclined right before I record the video to change the topic and talk about something else instead. And so I've got my plan here, but um, I'm just going to go with my gut and share something. Um, and maybe it's because, you know, it's kind of part of what I'm going through right now, but it's also something, um, these things are what got me through, through these changes and they're what continue to get me through changing every day and working on myself um, to the best of my ability every single day because this is not a process that ends. You don't arrive. Things keep getting better. Um, and then sometimes things get worse for a while. I mean, it's just this whole process and there, there's not really an end to it. And so these same things that I'm talking about on here are things that I use every day. They're not things that I did and now I'm great. Um, I'm not great. <laughs> I'm still quite a bit of a mess. And maybe that makes me less inspiring for you. I don't know, but it's the reality. And um, I'm a total, total work in progress. And I think we all are. And I think a lot of us are in one way or another works in progress. Um, even people who have achieved great things and, and tend to be really great, they can honestly be doing awesome, but there's still aspects that you're going to be working on. And um, when I think of myself one, five, ten years from now, I hope to be even better than I am now, but I, I don't fool myself into thinking that I'm not going to still be having to do these things and apply these things to my life on a regular basis to keep that trend going. Anyways, anyways, let's, let's dive into what I actually want to talk about today. I want to talk about mourning, mourning the loss of things in your life. This is a concept that someone shared with me when I was in my food journey. Um, and it might sound funny to some, but they, you know, they just said, give yourself the room to mourn the loss of, of what was, you know, not everything about living up my food addiction was bad. You know, there was a lot of times we're happy and that we're great and that I really enjoyed food and people and the two together or I enjoyed my life that way or the freedom that I had or you know anyway she just gave me that advice to to let myself mourn and it really helped me with food with dealing with that and kind of dealing with what I was having to give up but it also has helped me in every facet of my life as it evolves and um, just that concept of give yourself room to mourn. When you're making these changes, whatever kind of changes they are on yourself and your life, there are going to be parts that are sad to lose. There are going to be parts that you're going to miss. There's going to be parts that you preferred the old way. There's going to be feelings and freedoms and um, just general things that you're going to mourn. This was really big for me. Every time I have another baby, I go through a a period of mourning over our family no longer being the way it was. No long, my, my previous baby is no longer my baby and I have this new one and though that's great, um, you have to mourn the change of the family and mourn the loss of my freedom and mourn, mourn the life adjustment. And um, I'm not saying that you don't recognize the good because there can be so much good and obviously we're working towards being better and so that's the goal. But even getting better, there's going to be parts and pieces that feel sad to lose. Um, mourning what once was, mourning how you used to be, mourning things you used to do. Um, it can even be as simple if you're trying to adjust, you know, to do the early to bed, early to rise thing. You can mourn those late night Netflix sessions you had. They were probably great sometimes, you know? You can kind of mourn like, oh, I really miss doing that. And that's not to say you can never do that, but you get my point. Give yourself space to mourn the things you're losing and to mourn the evolution of things. Your life is changing. You are changing. That's not always happy. There's, there's pain that comes with that. There's loss that comes with that. Um, we're going through some big changes in our personal lives here. My, my son was has some health problems and we've recently gotten some answers that I'm so grateful to get. But with the diagnosis comes some mourning, some mourning that I, you know, things that I want for him that he'll never have or um, things are going to be different than, than we planned. And 
Um, we're deciding where to move long term and you know whichever choice we make we've got it down to two choices whichever one we choose I'm gonna have to kind of mourn the other one you know what could have been with the other one my point is those are just that's literally what I'm dealing with today so <laughs> I'll share that with you but give yourself room to mourn I think we get so caught up in forcing ourselves to feel happy. Like, it's okay, it's okay, dust yourself off. Change is good, I'm changing, this is great. I'm better off, I'm getting better. But you've got to give yourself that room to mourn and to be sad about the changes. So you might be saying like, okay, this is great, but what does it have to do with motivation and self-improvement? Because that's what we're talking about this week. But I have found that I can stay motivated long-term when I give myself that space to mourn and feel sad sometimes. I can, um, it's not this constant like, nope, you gotta feel happy, nope, you gotta keep going. I lose steam, I lose motivation, but when I give myself that space to sit down and to say, you know what, today I do feel really bummed about that. I feel really sad about that. I feel, you know, it's really hard to accept these terms, these changes, it's hard. It's hard to accept the loss of that in my life. Um, then you can actually process that and deal with it. And then you can move on from a sincere place of like, but I'm going to keep going. And it doesn't, it's not smushing those feelings down and not dealing with them and ignoring them and forcing happiness on yourself. It's processing those emotions because they're valid. It's valid to feel that way. So you've got to let yourself feel it and process it. And then for me, it's easier to find that motivation to keep going because I've processed those feelings. I've recognized that loss. I've mourned it and I continue to do so. There's certain, some things that I, you know, I still struggle to get over and, um, and just learning, you know, and a lot of it has to do with acceptance, you know, mourning and learning to accept what is, um, mourning what could have been, mourning what you wanted, mourning how things used to be and accepting what is and how that needs to be is a process. So give yourself the space to live through that process, to go through that process. Um, and I think that creates sustainable motivation. It creates a sustainable process where you can keep going simply by allowing yourself to process things in their own time and in their own way. Not, not every change brings only good. There's always a loss attached to change and progress. For better or for worse, there's always a loss. With everything online, it's all, I've always desired to make a schedule and have a plan, and I do try to do so, but so much of what I like to share with you guys is just stuff as I'm going through it, what I'm going through, what I'm learning the day of. And I like, I like sharing that way. So I'll continue to fly off the seat of my pants. Is that how it goes? That sounds weird. Fly off the seat of, off, off the, no, off the cuff, off, I don't know. I'll continue to go off a piece of clothing, which means that I'm not planning. I, okay, we're done now. Thanks guys, we'll see you tomorrow.